Aloha Cupcakes! Today, I'm going to walk you through how I pinstripe. The flow, the process, all the, the juiciness, the moistness, all of the fun parts about this. So let's start. I've got a grid stencil, I've got a panel, I've got a pencil. We're going to use a Peewee 800, and we're going to use a Dragonfly, which is a scrolling brush. I don't scroll with it normally, but that's what it's for. Now we're going to use Alpha 6 enamel. You know what, vermilion seems like a great color today. Let's use that one. It's got way too many syllables for red and orange. And then we're going to use imitation gold because I think it looks like hot mustard. Because that's how we pick things around here. So let's start off by I'm going to add a couple little tick marks here to make sure that my center line is actually centered on the panel, not centered on the design. Because I'm pretending like those racing stripes aren't there. Because I don't like the way they came out, actually. They're supposed to be more red. They're not. It's fine. So after I've knocked out my grid, let's get that brush palette up. Now, you need to really palette out some paint. You need to really palette out the paint. Because it's going to be a little bit goofy. Especially here where it's 12 degrees. So, you know, you got to work on it a little bit. Add a little reducer. Spread it out. And then when you can go... You're good to go. Now, like I said, we're going to do a wider design. So instead of me starting in the center, I'm going to start on the left-hand side so that I don't drag my fingers through the lines. I mean, I'm sure that it looks really, really cool and really professional to have fingerprints all over your paint, but um, I think it's better if you don't do it. Just my personal opinion on that. So I like to pull a wider center line when I'm doing this. And by wider, I don't mean necessarily a wide line. I mean a line that is slightly off of, it, of the center line and then another one on the opposite side paralleling. So they both meet somewhere in the middle. Kind of like a teardrop with pointy ends. After that, I switch over to my scrolling brush and I just start throwing little itty bitty lines and then short fat lines and just go nuts. I mean, this is a panel. I can have fun with it. And the thing you'll notice when I'm using that scrolling brush is I like to do thick, heavy lines and pull them out until they get into the little skinny, itty-bitty lines. Don't do that. Like, seriously, just don't do that. Every pinstripe I've ever known has told me not to do it. In fact, I think I'm supposed to tell you not to do it, but uh, I'm doing it. So I like having fun with it. it. It entertains me to do it. Like this little one right here. That's horrible. I love it. After I've done enough of that, then we come in with a secondary color, that, that hot mustard color. Now, when I do my secondary color, I like to do really heavy, small lines. So really fat, really pronounced, and really defined without really having a lot of addition to the design itself. They're really just accents. Also, I think I just said really like five times, like really, really. But this is just the part where I do this until I get tired of it. When it starts getting too full and I start running out of fun places to stick lines, that's when I call it done. And somewhere in the, you know what, this is a little too clean. Let's sloppy it up a little bit. There we go. A couple of globbies, extra dots. Can't do too clean. It's, just, it's not my... Well, here is the wreckage from this little experiment. It's not perfect. It's not even all that clean. But I like it. I hope this video helped you. If it didn't, well... That's fine. Stay moist, my friends.